Hey, how's it going everyone? Jurassic Ninja and today I'm just doing this little quick video here. The reason being is for Christmas I got my brother this PSP fully modded uh, and uh, complete with an awesome sticker. <laughs> found this at a thrift shop. I modded it for him and I loaded it up with a bunch of his favorite uh, like PS1, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis and stuff like that. All those games. Well anyway, he lost the charger I gave him. He went and bought this shady one, which I have bought in lots of aftermarket ones, and they've all worked, but this one does not work at all. And PSP uses 5 volts. So, I figured, instead of buying a new one, because why, why would you do that? What I'm going to do is, I've got this guy here. It is also 5 volts. And the connector was just too big. If it focuses, yeah, it was just too big. So we're going to... I cut this one off, that shady one. And we're going to try to do some splicing. I'm going to try to splice this bad boy right onto that bad boy. And, uh, yeah. See how it goes. Okay, so I own wire strippers and I can't find to save my life. So we're just going to use use what I have. So basically, we're just going to strip this guy here real quick. Got to be real gentle, you know what I mean? Got to be real careful, because you don't want to snap right through. Wire, wire strippers would be handy, though. And this tool, I think it's like lost all of its sharpness. Hmm. Ugh, there we go. So now that you're in here, you got these two wires. You see, you know, you got your uh, positive and negative, I believe. Luckily with this one, you only need to strip two cables, where the other one you gotta strip three because you gotta strip the initial one and then you gotta strip the other two. Sons of bis biscuits. All right, so those are twisted. Now we twist them onto this. Okay, got it connected, plugged in. Here we go, power. Yes! <laughs> I know this is like, to you uh, techies out there, it's like, wow, a big deal, you did some splicing. And uh, I know, I've never I've never actually spliced a, a power cord before. I've done, you know, audio cables and stuff, but this is actually really cool. So like, if you have like a PSP, for instance, and you have a plug that fits, right? And let's say that plug is like a nine volt and it fits in there, but the PSP only uses a five volt, then you have another AC adapter, you know, like this, that is 5 volt. This is how you can splice them together and make them work perfect. And, uh, yeah. So now my brother doesn't have to go buy another cheap PSP charger or a brand new one for 20, 30 bucks. And, uh, he's got this, which as long as I do a good connection here, tape it up real good, shouldn't be any issues at all. My recommendation is don't cut so close to where it's plugged in because it's going to be a lot of, you know, if you're playing with it connected to the wall, there's going to be a lot of tugging there. You probably, probably should have done it more closer to the socket. But anyway, bam! I'm excited about it. I feel good. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.